So I just, I feel stupid. I just see my notifications. I didn't have them turned on. So I wasn't able to, um, I just got back and uh, replied to my messages. I'd like to thank you. Um, I'm not one of these people that, um, I'm poor. I don't have these famous get ups. I'm using it through a phone. I don't have whatever. Um, yeah. So I apologize for taking so long to get back to you. Um, I'm, I, I, I got a lot of people that I talk to on Instagram, my Instagram page, Turtle Island Stories, or my, um, that's about it. I, I'm on Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook kind of thing. So anyway, um, I'd like to thank you. I'm not, I'm not used to getting a, some nice compliments from some people out there. So thank you so much. I'd like to answer a couple other things. I'm sorry I'm so ugly for some people. Um, I had more important things to worry about in my life other than my looks, you know. Being a scoop survivor, I had to survive that. Uh, being an Alberta child welfare abused survivor, I had to survive being systematically abused and a bunch of hor horrendous other stuff that um, um, the Alberta government um, imposed upon me, I guess. And, um, and then, uh, you know, I had to deal with being poor, homeless, um, drugs, crime, being a criminal. I, I make no bones about it. I'm a ex criminal for 20 some years. So I have a, a lot of experience. I don't have a lot of experience in a normal life, you know, because I systematically abused. I'm antisocial impulse control with psychopathic features because of my past. I suffered probably from PTSD and some many other fucking, sorry, many other effing um, mental illnesses due to the fact because of my upbringing. Um, so I apologize um, if I'm not pretty enough for you. Um, my bad. Like I said, I had more important pressing things, to issues, you know, homelessness, abuse, yada, yada, yada type of thing. So, um, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not, um, as good looking as some of these YouTube stars like a Tyler or Liviari or, um, um, R slash dude or, um, uh, Gundam dude or, you know, L loser of the de of, of the week dude or uh, I'm not as pretty as the SGV news first dude or uh, I'm not as uh, good looking as the the Mexican Padilla I do believe cop watch or I I'm not as good looking as them and I apologize um, sorry, those are some of my uh, examples off the top of my head because I watch them. They're my favorite shows or channels or whatever you call them on this. And um, there was another comment as I should get a life and I should just allow the Edmonton police to do what they did to me. Um, I have an issue with that um, because of my upbringing, because of my past. It kind of screwed my future. So I never had a future. I never had a past. I'm a, I'm a kind of in purgatory kind of thing before I die. Um, I grew up in this life alone. I'm going to leave this life alone. I live this life alone. So I apologize if I didn't have the education because I was getting my fucking ass beat, abused and whatnot. Um, and my own stupidity. On top of that, for being getting into crime, getting in being a quote unquote criminal enterprise, um, criminal mastermind, etc. I'm not here to promote my crim criminality. I'm not, and that was one of the issues that I had with this. Um, I didn't want my criminal or my violent background glorified or brought up in that type of way. I'm not all about that. I'm I'm not going to make anything by sitting here saying, you know, woohoo, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a wannabe rapper or a hip-hop artist that's going to sit here and pretend that I'm a criminal and it's cool. I'm, I'm an ex-criminal. I've been there, done that, and I will tell everybody that needs to be told that um, 
I understand if that's your option, but there are probably there are better ways to go about whatnot other than getting into crime. But if you're gonna do it, do it the right way. And I was always taught that if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. So anyway, another another message was that um, not only should I let the Edmonton police get away with this and pretty much roll over and take this shit dry, but if I did that, there's a whole bunch of young bloods that they will target and attack and nothing will get done. And that's how the Edmonton police, that's how this bullying happens. People don't stand up. People are too scared to stand up to say anything. People are, you know held back because they don't want to get involved in that and I have more than enough experience in that because when I was abused I would have loved for somebody to stand up and say fuck enough is enough but nobody did because nobody wanted to get involved with uh, abuse because it's just such a shitty I don't know I don't want to put my opinions on here to um, offend some people I don't give a fuck People don't want to get involved because it's too messy and it doesn't involve them. And the few people that do get through that are so overwhelmed by so many things that they don't. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those issues. If somebody needs my help, I will help them. If somebody needs my advice, I will fucking tell them. If somebody needs me to step up, because I'm abused and I survived it and then I'm more than willing to share my time with them and another thing was said that I should get a life and whatnot, and I shouldn't just sit around on welfare and whatnot. well I helped start the Alberta class action the Alberta child welfare class action lawsuit and help win with my evidence. I helped with the scoop with my evidence. And now I'm taking on the Edmonton police, the city of Edmonton, and all this because, let's face it, the city of Edmonton, Mayor Don Iverson, city council are all culpable in what's going on. And as, and let's just, and I'm not singling out Edmonton. I'm singling every city where there's cops murdering non-whites, where cops are murdering the poor, where cops are murdering the downtrodden, where cops are abusing the mental illness on the streets, where the cops are abusing women, children, and whatnot. These city councils that get paid thousands and thousands of dollars are like the people I just said. They turn a blind eye because they don't want to get involved in it because they don't have the cojones, the manhoods to sit there and say fucking to do what is needed to be done and what is right. I will. Because I am an abused victim. And if there's one thing that could have helped me out with somebody standing up and saying, I hear you. I'm there for you and help pick them up, dust them off, show them some insight and show them how to fight back. And that's what I'm here for. And that's what my YouTube channel is about. If you don't like it, don't watch it. So, um, for the everybody else that uh, thank me for having my, sorry, I just had a tooth removed. I'm getting my implants done hope soon. Now that I find out my financial future is a little, looking a little bit better. And no, I'm not one of these YouTube people that are getting paid because let's face it, I swear too much. I, uh, I'm pretty straightforward. Um, I don't have the, the mics and the get ups and uh, I'm too, poor to get the mics and the get-ups and everything i'm getting my shit cleaned off i just found out that my scoop settlement's coming in and i'm authorized for one and um whatnot and um 
I'm hoping to get back to writing. So I got a couple of book ideas. Um, it's just the getting it written down kind of thing. Um, I have a, I'm a little self conscientious about my writing because I took many a whoopings because uh, messy writing. So I take a I take a whooping for that, like a lot of whoopings. So I'm a little self conscientious. I'm trying to work through that kind of thing. So to get my books out. So if I can get some help on that, that'd be great. And another thing is, um, if people, how about this? If people really want, um, if they can answer me this one simple question, what is my favorite drink? Now, hold on, hold on. If you can tell me what my favorite drink is that has got me through um, drinking, that's got me, helped me overcome drinking alcohol, uh, help me, um, just help me in every which way possible. I will send you, if you don't mind me sending you stuff, I will send you a copy of one of these, if it means anything. I'm sorry, I'm poor, I don't know, I got these things. I've never really seen them, so so if you do want them, and if you do answer them, and you hit me back, and you and I get them to you, and uh, you watch them, maybe you can get back to me and tell me how you liked them. I've never seriously. I'm in both of these movies. If you can tell me what movie was nominated, and what movie won it, what movie was nominated for an award, and what movie won an award, I will send you both copies. How about that? Um, now that I got everything, kind of whatever, straightened up, I am suing the Edmonton police, the city of Edmonton and whatnot. Now that my financial future is a little, looking a little bit better, I can tackle the Edmonton police. And let's make this crystal clear. I tried to work with the Edmonton police. I said, drop the charges, return my animals, Public acknowledge what you did was wrong and give me a public apology and I'm good. They refuse to because I'm, because they're, they're, as you can see my post, you know, my feelings upon them quite clearly. And if not, I'll get into it even more if needed. Um, it's their own racism, ignorance, and the fact that they think they're superior that is, um, that the city of Edmonton, the Edmonton cop, the Edmonton police chief, who is a known conservative, a known racist, and a known white supremacist, and the cops all refuse. And it's just the system is broken, and it's run by a bunch of fools that have no interest in changing things because they like the superior being superior and thinking that their shit don't stink well i'm about to change that not just for me but for all my young bloods that they're going to target and whatnot because this shit's got to stop and i'm willing to step up and am stepping up and uh i hope you you stick to my next video is going to be about what i know crime and drugs so i'm going to stick to those main things hopefully i can help some people out there I'm also going to talk about uh, abuse and surviving it and whatnot. Um, I'm not looking to make money off of this. If people can learn from it, that's great. If there's a young blood out there that's getting beat up, that's thinking suicide is the only way out, if, if I can help them, I'm there for you. Don't worry. I got you. All you have to do is get back to me, and I got you. So my next video is going to be about a touchy subject, opioids. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to how to do it on this thing without um, being banned or whatnot. 
I don't know. I hear all these things about people like Tyler Olivieri. They don't say a lot of things because they say they're going to get demonetized. Um, I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for redemption, I guess, for myself. Because for so long, I've been such a fucking selfish asshole criminal that's only cared about myself. If my... If my past can help out, like I said, somebody else, I'm all for it. So thank you. Um, If you have any advice, hit me up and peace and smoke them if you got them. Have a good day.